Hey, this is James from SorrelPunk.com. Um, I'm here today to show you guys this quick and easy gravity-fed sink system that I feel built in my off-grid, semi-off-grid, kind of off-grid uh, tiny house that I have. The tiny house. Um, so I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on this. It was just sort of a quick project. So you guys can throw it together for probably. 30 bucks, 40 bucks, depending on what you have to replace. Um, you will need a couple things. You will need a five gallon bucket, which looks really tiny next to my hand. I have gorilla hands. Ah. Anyway, five gallon bucket. Um, you need sort of a, a spigot to come off of it. I probably need to redo this at some point um, to put like a quick disconnect there to disconnect the hose and maybe even change the hose out to something different but it was sort of a cheap fast easy solution there so I just have a piece of PVC pipe there and a corresponding piece on the inside rubber gaskets in between the both of them and then I've got this connector piece here that comes out which is a, uh, a th sort of a barbed end to feed onto my uh, hose pipe there and then I just have a tiny hose clamp on there because it, it was supposed to be a, uh, what is it, a PEX, supposed to be a PEX connector, but it works, that works fine. I'm not going to buy the $30 PEX tool when a hose clamp works just fine. And I've not had any, any leakage, any moisture uh, at all with that. So the line just goes down behind my pantry here um, you totally can't see that at all and it goes down here underneath my kitchen sink once again you guys probably can't see that it's dark um, it goes there and it goes into just a normal sink um, hookup the on off here Another uh, tiny hose clamp on there. I've sort of I fooled around with the the hose to see if different placements would alter um, if it would alter the uh, the water pressure. So far, I haven't noticed anything. I originally had it coming in at the very bottom of the wall, and just just for an experiment, I moved it up. And let's see, I moved it up almost parallel. With the bottom of the sink and I've tried to sort of fiddle around and have the the uh, the hose you know be parallel instead of dipping straight down I didn't notice any difference um, what I what I did notice was air gets trapped in the line so when you first turn it on you have to what I had to do was sort of squeeze the hose to force the air bubbles out and so that the water sort of balances all the way through the system and at that point then it works because it was frustrating me at first I was like this should work I don't know why the water is not coming on and I don't have a check valve to prevent it from doing that so that's what I did you just sort of squeeze the hose pipe at the top and it forces the air so it forces the air back up and then the water comes down air and it works and the end result is That is off-grid, basically flowing water. Um, it's not the greatest uh, speed and pressure in the world. Here's a cup. The first thing was I rigged up all that stuff, super rigging it. Like not even, I had no idea what I was doing. I spent like two hours in the hardware store trying to find parts to fit to to do this. That you know it's not it isn't like a, a real project like I'm like I'm just sort of winging it as I go and all of that all of that ghetto rigging there worked perfect the thing that didn't work all right so I ran that space on my SD card and that start all over or I had to start well let me just finish where I was at so the thing that was messed up earlier 
uh, when I first tried to build this was the faucet with this sink. So this is a used sink and the faucet just was leaking everywhere. Like it was completely not worth a shit. Um, so I replaced it and it's working much better with this $12 Walmart special. Not fancy, but it is an off-grid um, sink. So it works fine for my gravity feed water system. Um, the water tastes a little, the water tastes a little funky from the uh, the hose. So there's that. You know, it has that sort of plasticky, you know, nostalgia from being a child and drinking from the water hose in the front yard. It has that. Um, that's actually better. Um, I think it's working through the, the, the new hose pipe smell, taste, um, and it's, it's getting better. So, it's, I mean, for you fellow tiny housers, like, I, I've, to me, this seems like a better solution than the, um, you know, like the water dispenser on top of your sink. I mean, I... I have a sink. <laughs> you turn the sink on, it goes. Um, the water pressure sucks, and there's only room temperature water there's no hot or cold it's just whatever the temperature of the five gallon bucket is so you know for for now um it's amazing to finally like um be able to do dishes and stuff you know albeit slowly but rinsing stuff off you have no idea how used to that you are and then you go off grid and you're like oh i have to carry my water and pour it into the sink and then trying to Trying to like just rinse off little things is a pain in the ass. Um, my girlfriend Serenity like trying to get a glass of water or to like rinse her toothbrush off. You know she's too weak to pick up the. Um, you guys see that? The big six gallon water hose. Say hi, Jordan the cat. He's camera shy. Um, yeah, she just can't do it. Like she's you know spilling water on the floor. And I'm like, damn it, Serenity, stop spilling water! Ah! And um, not really, <laughs> not really. Um, but yeah, it's just. This, this she's going to love. It's going to be easier. Um, so if you are off-grid or just want to sort of back up water supply, you might want to look in the gravity feed. It works. Um, DIY to survive, you guys.